Magiging bahagi na ang Pilipinas ng pamamahala sa Loss and Damage Fund Board ng United Nations Climate Change. Ito mismo ang ibinunyag ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Yan ang ulat ni Kenneth Pasyente. Matapos ang pagkikibahagi ng Pilipinas sa Climate Change Conference sa Dubai, malugod na ibinalita ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. na magiging bahagi ang bansa sa board na mamamahala ng Loss and Damage Fund na naitatag sa unang araw ng COP28. Bagay na anya'y makatutulong sa bansa para tugunan ang epekto ng climate change. I am very gratified to hear the news that the Philippines has secured membership on the Damage and Loss Board. Uh, for the year 2024 and the year 2026, serving as an alternate for 2025. This will give us a voice in the management of all the funding that uh, is available around the world uh, to uh, mitigate and to adapt to the effects of climate change. Dagdag pa ng Pangulo, malaking bagay ito para sa Pilipinas na isa sa mga bansang higit na apektado sa mga negatibong epekto ng climate change. Kaya patuloy anyang magsisikap ang pamahalaan upang makakuha ng suporta mula sa ibang bansa upang masolusyonan ang isyo ng pagbabago ng klima. The next step that we are hoping to achieve is to host uh, the uh, fund uh, or damage and loss fund here in the Philippines so that uh, uh, because after all, we are very much in the mix when it comes to uh, uh, climate change uh, effects. So uh, I think that uh, this is a good development and we'll keep working to make sure that uh, the, uh, the Philippines has a very strong voice when it comes to all the issues of climate change of which we are very severely affected. Sa Malacanang press briefing, sinabi ni DENR Secretary Maria Antonia Yulo Loizaga na umabot sa mahigit 700 million US dollars ang pledges na pondo mula sa iba't ibang bansa. Mas matas ito sa inisyal na inaasahang pondo. That fund was initially expected to raise only an initial about 200 million. We are, as of closing, I understand, over 700 million in terms of pledges to the loss and damage fund, uh, some of which, of course, come from the developed countries such as Germany, but also the UAE and the UK and other countries as well. So that loss and damage fund will hopefully be made operational as soon as possible. And we hope uh, that we will be able to access it with some efficiency, greater efficiency than the other funds that are available. Magsisilbing daan din anya para sa Pilipinas ang pagkakapwesto para pamahalaan ang naturang pondo at itulak ang mga pangangailangan ng bansa pagdating sa usaping pangkalikasan, kabilang na ang pagkaubos ng lupa, pagkasira ng biodiversity at iba pa. It's to continue to represent the vulnerable countries in the world that are developing and need to have special consideration given to these countries in order for us to, in fact, drive what should be the appropriate financing available for each of us. Each of the countries have unique needs, and therefore climate vulnerable developing countries, especially island and archipelagic countries like our own, need to be able to articulate our needs and have and influence climate policy in this way. So being at the forefront in the, as a member of the board and also hopefully uh, hosting the board here in our country, we can remain in the spotlight for climate vulnerable countries that are in the developing world that need to have this kind of attention in terms of what they need to meet in terms of adaptation mitigation, but beyond that, in terms of loss and damage. Dalawang taong magiging bahagi ng board ng Loss and Damage Fund ang Pilipinas, taong 2024 at 2026, habang term sharing naman ang Pilipinas at Pakistan sa taong 2025. Ipinapanukala na ngayon na World Bank ang siyang mamamahala sa pondo. Separate and distinct from the other funds that the World Bank has, that given by their members for the different programs that the World Bank has. So in other words, tagasalo lang po, temporarily, yung World Bank until we can come up with appropriate structure and organization arrangements for the administration of this fund. Kenneth, pasyente para sa bayan.